Yo, what is up, people? It is your boy Sneeples right here, and I have an itch. Anyways, it's your boy Sneeples right here. I hope you guys have a fantastic day today. Yeah. Okay, so we are back again for another career mode. Uh, of course, our MK uh journey. We've got some tough games. We've got some very tough games. We've got Bournemouth, um, and then obviously after Bournemouth, we have uh, the the uh, uh, international break, and then we've got Fulham uh, away. So we've got yeah, Bournemouth at home, Fulham away. And we've got Spartak Moscow, um, Moscow, whatever, uh, in the group stage. Uh, don't know if that's home or away. Um, and then we've got West Brom. So it should be those four at least in this video, um, unless fixtures change, whatever. Um, whether they do, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it could be a tough one actually, to be fair. Bournemouth, we all know, can be a tricky side, but we might smash them. You never know. Fulham, you know, Fulham should be a win, but again, you never know. And we are away, so. Uh, it's one of those fixtures in it um, and then West Brom again can be one of those fixtures as well so Moscow should be a definite win but again it could be one of those fixtures you just never know um, but yeah so we're going to go straight ahead with this we've got Bournemouth obviously at home let's hopefully get three points and start off this uh, Premier League uh, what well, this video and uh, push our Premier League title charge even further on and uh, as you see here you know, hopefully we can increase that uh, that gap obviously between us and Man City and of course Arsenal of course, Liverpool and even Tottenham, who we beat in our last game. So, uh, you know, was it our last game? I think, uh, no, we didn't beat Tottenham. No, we beat Liverpool, didn't we? I think it was Liverpool. Yeah, it was Liverpool, I think it was. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead with that first game. Like I said, born with at home. So let's get those three points in the bag. And in it goes. Oh. Really? Okay, it's 1 0 Bournemouth. I, it's, it's my first Premier League goal conceded this season. We've absolutely been all over them. I've probably only showed you a couple of chances, like always. But we're absolutely dominating. Absolutely dominating them. And they get that. It's another set piece. You can hear me battering my buttons. And again, just can't deal with it. I don't know how. 1-0 Bournemouth. I've gone Mbappe. Oh my. I actually held it down longer to hit it harder. But I don't know. It's just such a P-roller. I don't know what happened there, really. It still nearly went in, but... Come on, that goal. Where's that goal? Come on, Rodrigo. How close do I want to be? How? I mean, honestly, I can't wait to see the stats. I can't, it's another game again where I'm now starting to get a bit pissed off. Like, I've literally been all over them. Absolutely demolished them. Please. Oh, my God. Thank fuck. Thank you. Jesus Christ, it's an awkward goal as well, it's a great goal to be fair, but awkward, like, I don't know, I don't know how Pomacow still got it, the smallest player on the pitch, one of them anyways, and it's just managed to hit, hit underneath the bar and go in, that's how we have to get our goal, <laughs> we literally had so much more easier chance than that, it just hasn't scored, but well done, for once, finally, I've actually managed to get a goal, um, as I always do, I'm going to do that, and again, the proof's there. The proof, I'm going to show you the proof as well. At the end of this game, um, well, it's the end of the game, you know what I mean? But stats-wise, smashed them. Honestly, look at this, look. What more, what more do I need to do? <laughs> My full strength team out there. And this is where I say Bournemouth can be such a twat team to play against, literally, because they're so hard. I don't know why. They're really difficult at times. But 61% possession as well. I tried to find a way through, it just wouldn't. And I luckily got that goal that I scored. Luckily, because it hit the underneath, underside, under the bar, whatever. And then, yeah, in the goal. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. So, great start to this video. It's a point, obviously, we haven't dropped all points, but it's a pathetic draw. It's a draw, it shouldn't be a draw. You know, it's simple as that. So, you know, I can't even remember their goal, to be honest, but we move on, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Okay, so disappointed game against Bournemouth there, a one-all draw, which as you probably can see just there, um, if we just click on it now, we're back down to second, was in first temporary. Um, yeah, so, you know, <clears throat> 22 points. We had the same result, just Man City scored 10 goals more than us. Uh, we conceded five less than them. That was our first goal conceded of the season. Uh, obviously, it's bound to happen. Uh, but Fulham next, hopefully we can turn it around and have a good smashing against them. Uh, we need to keep going and stop losing those points it was just this point it really was i can't, I can't help it it was it's was actually a stupid game it shouldn't have been a draw knowing the uh the result uh the, the way we played anyways um but yeah i guess it is what it is but full of next like i said um arsenal against tottenham as well in this, in this uh on this day as well so that'll be an interesting game 
Um, but yeah, so we have to win. So let's go out there, let's get the points against Fulham, and hopefully, you know, we can do that. There you go, that's it. Mbappe, great start. Zaku at one in, what a finish. Great ball through from Sadelek. And Mbappe wasn't really there against Bournemouth. He had a couple of chances, but somehow wasn't in the game. And simple one two there. And then the first time it, you know, Mbappe's going to finish that. He's got him, man. And that's it. It's a great start. 1 0. Don't know where Mbappe's going, but. Mbappe! Oh! What a goal! 2 0. Did not expect he'll finish that after I turned too many times. And I thought the defender was just going to get me on that last part. But look at this. I was going to hit there, but I thought cut in a bit more. Have a bit of a play. And boom! What a hit from Mbappe. 2-0, and this is what I wanted. A nice thumping early on. And this is what we should be doing against a team like Fulham. Oh, it's a good ball, but... Oh! I'm not really sure what to say on that. I'm genuinely not sure what to say. I've never, ever seen that on FIFA, whether it be online or offline mode. Never. Never have I ever seen that. Wow, I just lofted a ball over and <laughs> I was a bit worried about hitting it first time to be fair, I thought I'd still fluff it up but Kai Havertz makes no mistake, right bang on purely down the middle but wow, I, I'm actually speechless, I really am but I'll accept it, 3-0 oh, Look at that, Fulham just opened up there and just a simple ball, 4-0, game over in the first half Absolute smash and this is what it should have been like against Bournemouth to be fair. But there you go, 4-0 is exactly what I expect. With a team that I have, I expect that. So uh, maybe not this early, but it is what it is. 4-0 and uh, practically game over. Oh, look at that. I see the movement and everything. This is just too easy. And Bappe for hat-trick. 5-0, absolutely fresh from Fulham in this first half. It's definitely what we expected, like I said, and I'll keep saying it. Absolutely smash them and a hat trick for Mbappe. You can't really fault a player like him. The space was just down there, down that left side, and there you go. Absolutely smashed it. 5 0. Nice. Okay. That's a nice victory. It's a 5 0 victory. Could have been even more. Um, all five goals were in the first half as well. Um, I think they were. Um, but three of them from that man himself, none other than Kylian Mbappe, who's actually been smashing it for me and uh, does brilliantly in this game as well. And there you go, it is a result we wanted after this point, one a draw with uh, Bournemouth uh, at home as well. But this time we're away and we get a good thrashing over Fulham, so job done. Okay, so after a fantastic victory over Fulham, uh, obviously of course following that disappointing one a draw with Bournemouth. Uh, so yeah, great final victory there over Fulham. Uh, we have Champions League, back in Champions League, um, obviously Spartak Moscow this time. Um, obviously in our last game we actually beat Madrid by two goals to one to take their three points from them uh, which gives us a three point gap right now um, so hopefully we can extend that if the other team uh, who is it, who's the other team? Uh, Shat to the next, that's it. that's it if they can do a favour and stop Madrid, brilliant but considering Shat have lost their first two games I doubt it's going to happen but you never know um, just got to see what we can do I guess um, but yeah, Spartak Moscow is in our next game let's get the three points Oh, Yannick Wagner, probably the best chance so far of the game. Only 12 minutes gone, but it's a great hit from him. The young, 24-year-old I think he is now. It's a great hit, it's a fantastic strike. Should have been 1-0. Oh, and Wagner again. Oh, wow, great save. Fantastic save, to be honest. Brilliant save. It's a good shot from Wagner. Should have probably went in, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's a great look at that one hand save, brilliant. Oh, go on, Felix. Really? That is why you don't start, mate. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Come on, serious. You gotta be scoring them. Oh, Yannick Wagner to Tonali. Finally, that goal comes. And it comes from my CDM. Honestly, on a serious note. We've not had tons and tons of chances, like as in you know, shots itself, but we've played some good football. We just haven't really been able to get through and, and get that goal. And Felix nearly gets in the way there, like move out of the way, seriously. But finally, we get that goal, and it is 1 0, finally. Yannick Wagner's worked tirelessly in this game. 
honestly. And he plays it into Pardo, who should be making it 2 new, and he does on the rebound. Somehow gets that, I don't know. But Yannick Wagner, I was just saying there, has had a great game, honestly. Down that left side, um, well, he's, he's, in, he's in the middle, but that this time he's on the left side. And honestly, what a game. Honestly, Wagner's been working tirelessly and uh, deserves probably to be starting most games, to be fair. Um, but yeah, what a goal. What a, you know, what a, what a move in, in, in general. And finally, we get that second goal. There you go. Here's a 2-0 victory over Spartak Moscow in Moscow as well. And uh, it's not the most satisfying result, but couldn't really actually, actually find gaps in it. We had a weaker side than usual, like we do in the Champions League for now. So I want to win the Premier League, so I always put a strong team out in that in that in those fixtures most of the time anyways. Um, but yeah, yeah, Pardo came on, he got a goal. Um, yeah, great little goal as well. Um, and obviously, yeah, just Felix didn't really have a great game somehow. And just just like I said, 2 0. Yeah, Tonali had to get his go in, in the second half and then Pardo got the second one. Um, could have got the third at least, but it is what it is. It's three points and that's all that matters I guess. Okay, so on to our final game of this video. We have West Brom uh, at home, so hopefully three points in this. Again, you never know. It's not always guaranteed. Um, you know, obviously when when it's teams like this, because obviously we just, I don't know, just haven't played great against these teams. I don't know why. I have no reason for it. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to go ahead with it. Hopefully get the three points and keep uh, level with Man City or even further uh, if Man City lose their next game. Um, but yeah, so just got to do what we can. Let's get those three points. Oh, okay, first tackle <laughs> already on the break. Jesus, where's their team? Sadile, oh, what a finish into the corner. As I was just saying there, where was their team? Literally, it's funny actually, just had the kickoff, right? Just done the kickoff, went to play it to the side. As always, do I come down the bottom of the screen? That makes sense. <laughs> I go to the right side basically, I went to play it. And they took the ball, just literally just like that. I was like, okay, never usually happens, but they went on the attack, and I thought, you know what, they're going to probably score. But nope, then we just literally <laughs> just went on the attack ourselves, and yeah, just managed to score that. Great finish on Saturday, and uh, yeah, it's 1-0. Oh, Mbappe, 2-0. Jesus, there's me just, just literally concentrating on Mbappe there, just drilling with him. West Brom can't contain him, and Mbappe gets the assist. As he rolls it along nicely into the middle of the box, and Pomikau is there to smash it in 2 0. Oh, go on, Trent. Trenty boy. Oh, what a finish. Trent Alexander Arnold, 16 minutes gone, and we're 3 0 up. This is how it should be. Um, obviously, with my full team out there, absolute smashing team like this. 3 0 inside 16 minutes, great football. Trent Alexander Arnold with his first goal for me. In ages, I think he scored at least. Two, I think I think that might be second or third goal ever for me. I think third. I'm not too sure. And it's a great finish. I thought the defender would have blocked it, but just didn't get there in time. And it's a great goal into the corner. Three 0 oh. oh, whoops. Uh. <sighs> Got a yellow card. I, I didn't actually mean to. I pressed. I don't know why I pressed X actually. Oh. All right. Okay. Hopefully we can save it, but not bother if we don't, but Yeah, it went the right way. Get in there, my son. Yeah, didn't really mean to. No way. Is that that's actually on site as well? <laughs> Mbappe. 4 0. Finally that fourth goal comes. Uh, to be honest, we've had a good few chances. Uh, it's been a while since the third goal, but what a goal to get, to be honest. <laughs> it's the way I see Mbappe was completely open. I'm not sure actually how, to be really honest. I'm actually not sure how he had so much space. Look, as you see there, just somehow. Absolutely incredible, but yeah, 4-0. Nice one. 4-0 victory. It is done. And there you go. It's a big three points in the bag from a team that we should be doing exactly what we did in this game and that is just dominating uh, whether it be goal wise or performance wise done much better deserved the points and yeah not much of a sound that it's a great victory and like i said three points in the bag okay so that will be all from your boy sneebles in this video uh, of course our mk on career mode uh you know smashing it as i always say you know we've done really well uh in today's uh video so 
just a recap on the results so of course Bournemouth we drew 1-1 not a great start in the video so we both well we both <laughs> it's like I'm talking to one person here. Um, we all know obviously it was not a great result um, it's still it's a point it's better than nothing it's not, we haven't lost that's a good thing uh, but you know just the game it said everything we were literally dominating them just couldn't uh, get the uh, get the second goal, or even the third, or even the fourth. It was that dominant? We should have at least won three or four one easily, very easily. Uh, but again, it's Bournemouth, standard stuff really for us. Um, and on another note, Fulham, of course, a great freshman of five 0 after the uh, international break. Players come back and we just smash Fulham. You know, simple as that. Fulham obviously more of an easier side than Bournemouth, you could say so. Um, but yeah, away that time, you know, it's a bit more of a difficult tie. And then, of course, uh, Spartak Moscow. Nice, comfortable 2 0 victory uh, in Moscow as well. Could have been more, but it wasn't a dominating game, uh, but it's better than nothing. And then, of course, West Brom, we beat just now by four goals to nil uh, with another thumping. And uh, yeah, just to keep us pushing on in the league title. So, yeah, really, yeah, job, job, job done really well. Okay, so just to finish off, this is the table right now. This is us in second place with 28 points, level with Manchester City, who. Yeah, also got bigger goal difference as I said. Um, they actually won their last game four. Uh, no, that was a start. Uh, what did they do? Let's have a little look. Um, so we won five against Fulham. So West Brom we had was our last game. That was four 0 And did Man City play? They must have been. No. Oh no, they played then. They played on twenty fifth. Okay, they beat Leeds by three goals to one. So they took three points there. That must have been their game. Must have been. They didn't play there, it doesn't show that they played. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I mean, Tottenham got a 5 0 victory over Bournemouth, yet we only draw 1 1. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the table, anyways, like I said. So that is all. For your boys and your boys, like I said, we got the points that we needed, and that's all good. So you know, just accept that one slip, that's it. So we can uh, let that slide, I guess. Uh, but other than that, hope you guys, of course, enjoyed. As I always say, leave a like, of course, and subscribe, much appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next MK Don's career mode video. Take care and peace.